A lot of people think that you can't get a good workout in without equipment or a gym or lose weight without your own kitchen. I'm here to tell you that it is possible. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to those who are returning. My name is Angel. I'm a flight nurse in the Air Force and my channel is all about my life as a military nurse, specifically my journey as a flight nurse. I come to you guys with military tips and basically talk to you about things that I'd wish that I wish I had known at any point in my career. Today I'm coming to you guys with a video about how I lost 20 pounds on my deployment. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as well. I really appreciate y'all's support. If you're at all interested in hearing how I lost this weight and went from this to this, stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get started. Let me preface this by saying that I'm deployed. Okay, Captain Obvious, thank you for that. Clearly I'm deployed, obviously. That's like in the title. I don't know why I felt the need to. Okay. <laughs> Let's chat a little bit. So I arrived at my deployed location end of January. I arrived here weighing 159 pounds. Here I'm showing you guys my MyFitnessPal progress report. And you can see I weighed in at 160 pounds in January and then didn't weigh in again until 30 March. And then you can progressively see the downtrend until June. I don't want people to think that if you are 5'4 and 159 pounds, you have to lose weight. Muscle weighs more than fat. I could go on and on. Nobody thinks, nobody thought, first and foremost, when I even came here, that I weighed that. Ooh, excuse me. That I weighed that much. God, I had macaroni for, for dinner. Big mistake. Let's continue. So nobody thought that I weighed that much when I first got here. I am, I have a very muscular physique, right? I always have, but I could, I felt uncomfortable in my skin. My self-esteem was suffering. I just was so uncomfortable, guys. And I know people that watching this video can relate. A lot of the times people don't really understand, you know, why you want to lose weight. They're like, you look fine, you look great. Your body goals, you're my body goals. I get it, but me personally, I just felt so uncomfortable in my skin and I wasn't living a healthy lifestyle. For the past two deployments, I've deployed right after the holidays. It's holiday season, right? It's Christmas, it's Thanksgiving. I'm about to leave for, you know, a few months and I want to enjoy, you know, the time that I have left with family and friends. I kind of go overboard, I overeat, you know. I'm thinking to myself, I'm not gonna get Chick-fil-A <laughs> and Chipotle. Oh my God, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. And I just kind of go overboard. I end up going to my deployment just heavy and just, just overweight, overweight by my standards. The turning point for me was when I realized that like, I, I, I felt like this crushing weight on my chest. I felt like my chest cavity was being crushed by my bras. My bras were too tight guys and I was so, so uncomfortable. And I had to basically wear sports bras for two months, uh, um, you know, as I started to lose weight. That was my turning point. It's like, I can't fit my bras anymore. I need to make some changes. I believe that all body types are beautiful. Like, I'm not here uh, trying to say, oh yes, you must lose weight, blah, blah, blah. If you're comfortable in your skin, you are living a healthy lifestyle and you're making healthy decisions, more power to you. That is amazing and kudos to you. Me. I was not. So I arrived here and I was like, okay, I need to make some changes and I need to lose the weight. I'm showing you guys a picture of me back in December. This was December 2nd in Tanzania while I was on vacation. And I'm showing you this because I didn't take any before pictures when I first arrived to my deployed location in January. But this is a good depiction of my baseline weight upon arrival. Because after my vacation, I hadn't lost any weight um, again before I arrived um, on my deployment. I didn't do a very good job of taking progress pictures, but this is from a video that I filmed. I took a screenshot. This was me in April, and at this point, I had lost about 10 pounds January to April, but 
as you can see, I still had a little bit of weight to lose, but this gives you an idea of pretty much where I was at at the halfway point before I got very, very serious with my diet. And this is me now. As you can see, I am all smiles, lots of hard work, lots of determination, and I'm not even quite at my goal weight just yet, but I am like only a few pounds away from getting there. Very proud of the results. I'm sure that you guys all know that weight loss is 80% diet and 20% exercise. Or maybe you don't. Now you do. Of environment was extremely challenging and eating healthy was just like it was man it was hard I didn't get really serious about my diet until honestly in May very beginning of May I did a low carb high protein diet I got on my fitness pal I started counting my calories religiously everything that I ate I accounted for and um, basically my goal was to lose two pounds a week I showed you guys an example of kind of what I I would eat you were deployed and sometimes Sometimes the nutrition choices are very very limited so for me doing the low carb and high protein diet worked and it worked well I dropped a lot of weight once I started one counting my calories and two really cutting out the carbs Stop eat, I stopped eating the bagels and the bread and the rice and the pasta. And I started really just focusing on protein. And it was a, it was a protein choice, a vegetable, a fruit. Um, and if I was having any carbs, it would be like potatoes or something like that. Very, very low carb and um, high protein. So that those were my diet choices and was kind of like a catalyst to my weight loss. Again, you guys know it's 80% diet, 20% exercise. I'm showing you guys the MyFitnessPal website. I will make sure I link it in the description box. But this is where I tracked all of everything that I ate. I also tracked my exercise based on whatever I saw on my Apple Watch per exercise that I did. And it was just a great way for me to keep myself accountable. Again, tracking my exercise and calories. It's very user friendly and I highly, highly recommend it. And it's also free 99 guys. So what's stopping you? Exactly nothing. <laughs> In addition to the dietary changes I made, guys, I also did intermittent fasting where I only ate lunch and dinner and I skipped breakfast. Just to recap, guys, so I did a low-carb, high-protein diet, I counted my calories, and I did intermittent fasting, and those were the dietary changes that I made as far as nutrition goes. All right, now let's talk about exercise. exercise goes guys I followed comp train programming before the gyms close I followed comp train programming after the gyms close I followed comp train programming and I love the programming it's a, it's I'm a huge crossfitter and it's it just works it works for me
had said with my diet, the catalyst <laughs> for my weight loss was like really cutting out the carbs. The catalyst for my weight loss as far as exercise goes was actually the gym's closing because it forced me to do a lot more cardio. I hate cardio. Cardio is my nemesis. If, okay, so like in the Air Force, we PT test, right? Once a year or twice a year, depending on your score. I PT test once a year. And I have to run a mile and a half once a year. So I run literally a month before my PT test and that's all the running prep that I do, unless it's like incorporated into a, a workout of the day for CrossFit. I hate running, I don't like cardio, and I just don't like it. And I know a lot of people are with me, but comp train, a lot of the home workouts that they brought out once the gym started closing in to, to, to today, the gym here is still closed. Like I haven't touched a barbell since March and I miss it. <laughs> I miss it a lot. But. To those who say that they can't work out without equipment, I literally got a sandbag guys and taped it up, put some paracord and made myself like a little kind of dumbbell slash kettlebell weight. And that's what I've been using my entire, what, ever since the gym's closed. So since March, I have been using this and I see so much definition in my shoulders. So stop making excuses, guys, and just do it. Find a way to make it work. There are always alternatives to the gym and using equipment. You can use your body weight and you can make it happen and you can see these results. Upping my cardio and following comp train programming really, really made a huge, huge, huge difference in my weight loss. I'm showing you guys the comp train website. I will make sure I put a link in the description box. This is where I got my daily workouts. You can actually sign up for an email and they will send you the daily workout. There it is. Are you hungry for the challenge? Just sign up for that if you were interested in getting there daily workouts. I did the home gym because once the gym closed, I had no access to any equipment. Um, so I used the home gym. I've been doing the home gym workouts since March. But if you do have access to a gym, they also have the workout of the day, which I will show here in a second. There it is. They have the workout of the day if you have access to a gym and barbells and um, different equipment. So that's an option as well. I kind of just wanted to very briefly go over that with you guys if you were interested. I do want to mention that I ran a mile prior to every workout, probably beginning in May. I started running a mile and that actually cut my mile time down by nearly two minutes, guys. So I think it was such a great way to really help me learn to tolerate running because <laughs> I will never like running. I learned to tolerate it and I don't dread it as much. So try incorporating that into your workout. Run a mile as a warm up prior to your workout and really see what kind of difference it makes in your endurance. My endurance has become so much better and I'm actually looking forward to taking my PT test next year to really see what my mile and a half is going to be. Just to recap on the exercise portion, guys, I did comp train programming five days a week, and I also increased my cardio and ran a mile before each workout. Remember that weight loss, you know, the weight loss 101 is you have to have a caloric deficit in order to lose weight. You need to burn more than you take in to lose weight. I don't care what anybody tells you, like you need to do that you need to have a caloric deficit once I realized that I was eating too much and once I started tracking my calories and really seeing what I was eating and putting into my body versus how much I was exercising and how much I was burning I used my Apple watch to track calories like during exercise it made a huge difference writing down what you're eating and kind of guesstimating if you if you're deployed you don't have access to a skill your own kitchen things of that nature writing down what you eat and guesstimating the amount of calories in it and then also um, making sure you're tracking your workouts and getting that caloric deficit. Um, I think that is the way forward and that is really the changing point in how I lost this weight on this deployment. Along with some hard work, obviously, determination, all of that. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. If you got any value from the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, so you don't miss out on any content that I have to provide for you. Thank you for flying with Angel, and I will see you guys in my next video.